I want to welcome you to my latest update. I have the Phantom 1 DJI Phantom. It's been upgraded. That's the power management unit to make the Phantom lighter and it supports the gimbal H32D Zenmuse, the GoPro Hero 3 Black Edition, an LED light that runs off of the, the balance cable, the running a Fat Shark. That's the antenna that uh, you see here for FPV. And this is the transmitter. The other modification I've already done on this is uh, I put a switch to turn the FPV on and off. That way if I want to fly uh, with extended battery time I can reduce the power from the transmitter. So today since I also did carbon fiber props, it has increased flight time and uh, performance of the way the Phantom flies. My flight time is about 8 minutes with everything installed. That's using the original Phantom battery. And this Phantom battery, if you look at it in detail, it is what they call puffing or expanding. You can see that it's bulging, giving me about 6 minutes flight time. I bought a replacement phantom battery and put it side by side and you can see that is nice and flat compared to the original which is up front you can see it's puffing or getting fatter. It didn't smoke yet, I didn't have any fire come out of it and some people complain. But it's over a year old and so it's time to replace it been used probably over a hundred or so flights so it's definitely gotten its use and I've never stored it at a half charge or quarter charge or even three-quarter charge it's always been drain it to 20% and then recharge it to full so that may have contributed to a shortened life with the new battery I'm able to get about nine to ten minutes flight time and I'm hoping to expand on that by using the new zippy batteries these are 2700 uh, milliamp batteries however I have to make some mods as you can see it's skinnier but it's also wider and longer and it came with these banana plugs so extra weight and uh, it is a thicker cable than the original power cable that uh, we're gonna have to get it converted back over to the XT60 connectors so I have ordered a parallel cable that goes from the banana plug to the XT60 female. That way I can plug it into uh, the phantom cable here without modifying the phantom. This battery connector here. So today what I'm going to do is mount the dual battery carbon fiber mounting bracket which will extend the frame and then we could actually zip tie the batteries onto the frame. And we'll zip tie through this hole here and through here. And it comes with the replacement screws. The original screw, I've taken one out already, is a Phillips. And it's being replaced with an Allen set screw and also the length of the screw is longer so we'll have to take that into consideration and I guess that's to accommodate the thickness of the actual uh, mounting bracket so, I'll flip it upside down. And right here is where I've already removed one screw. So we'll 
take the other screw out of the landing gear. I'll remove the four Phillips and just slide. in between the landing gear. Notice I have the wires still in position, the antenna and the Zenmuse data cable. Get our Allen wrench. That didn't come with this mounting kit is the actual Velcro. To secure the batteries. So I'll pick that up at Home Depot. And they'll have it in stock. Okay, now I'm gonna slug down the screws. Square position. Do the same for the other side. Once I'm done with this upgrade, my next thing I want to do is install the. Uh, I purchased the IOSD Mini from DJI. Found it on sale for $69 on Amazon. That arrived today. And again, because this is the Phantom 1 and I did do the upgrade, I have to create my own uh, data bus, which I figured out how to do and to actually activate it from another website. And I'll be putting that in my notes. But basically what this is going to do, the OSD, the on-screen display, is going to tell me how much battery time I have remaining and the direction, the speed, and position away from me, altitude, and a few other Telemetry fields or data that'll be sent back to me through the overlay on my remote display, which helps with FPV. That way, you know what's going on. So, there's what it looks like. The bus that I was talking about is the CAN bus, that's this connector here. So we're gonna have to customize that. That's this here. Basically, it's the same connection. You got a male, female, so that will plug in. But since this upgrade board does not have a connector, we'll have to solder some wires, four different wires, to actually replace that. Let's see, what else does it come with? Instruction booklet. It's very minimal <laughs> on how to set it up. It does have a USB port which allows you to uh, update the firmware on it and to make changes to the settings. So there you have it. Let's see, hopefully that'll 
focus in. Finish our mount. Just throw this underneath here. The nice thing is they don't have a full circle, so you don't have to run your wires again. It just goes around it. That's a big time-saving feature, especially when you have all these wires coming out of the, the body of the phantom. It was nice they gave me an extra screw. I guess I lost one. Compass calibration. Especially when you have objects, metal objects near the compass, such as this Allen wrench or the screwdriver. I also want to make sure I don't pinch the cable. put them on top, definitely want to mount them underneath. And, it'll also support the original batteries. They are. These battery packs are about the same weight as the 2200s, and that's one of the reasons I went with it. So we hope to get about a 12 to 13 or 14 minute flight with these batteries hooked up in parallel. Okay, that's it for today. I will continue with the iOSD mini install in my next video. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like me.